morning. Today I have Sophie with me. She's my little old lady cat. She doesn't uh, really like being held, so she's getting kind of annoyed, so I'm just gonna put her down. Okay, bye, Sophie. Um, all right, so today I'm gonna be doing another baking video. Uh, today I'm gonna make uh, keto pancakes. You could also make waffles out of these. So I hope you enjoy. get all your ingredients ready and you toss them all in a bowl, mix them up, and then you can just make them like you normally would with pancakes. I like making a lot of things that are, you kind of just throw it all together and you don't have to do a lot of mixing in separate bowls and things like that. I just find it a lot easier. So I'm just going to take all my ingredients and mix them in a bowl. So I'm going to start with uh, one cup of almond flour and I also added another half a cup. So you start with that in there. So that's a total of one and a half cups of almond flour. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of flaxseed meal just because I like that extra fiber. Um, maybe like one and a half tablespoons or so of flaxseed meal. Okay. Um, and then I kinda like to go with dry ingredients first. It doesn't really matter, but that's just what I prefer. So then I add uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. that in there and then I'll do um, half a teaspoon of sea salt so this is just like Himalayan pink salt I don't think it really matters um, what kind but I know like the sea salt and the Himalayan salt tends to be better for you so I if I gotta make the hole a little bigger here okay so that's half a teaspoon of sea salt um, and then for a sweetener, I'm going to add uh, just about two to three tablespoons of stevia, the powder kind. So we'll do like two to three of those. Okay, and now I kind of go with my wet ingredients. Um, it doesn't really matter, but this is just what I prefer. So now I'm going to add five eggs. A uh, third a cup unsweetened almond milk. Um, and then quarter cup of coconut oil, or if you have like avocado oil, just something that you can have liquid. Um, and then lastly, I'll just add uh, maybe one teaspoon of vanilla extract just for flavor. This is optional, but I like that vanilla flavor. All right. So then from here, you just mix it all up. And it should start to kind of look similar to the consistency of pancake batter. If you find that it's too thick, you can add more almond milk. Um, mine actually, it looks pretty good. It's, you know, not too thick. I don't know if you can see that. So it's kind of just like a pancake batter consistency. So it's pretty easy. That took me like a couple minutes if I have everything kind of set out ahead of time. Alright, so we have that all mixed up. Okay, so I'm coming over to the stove now and this is where I have a pan with um, some coconut oil. And I'm just gonna melt that and preheat the pan. So we'll just turn the stove on. So this will be like my non-stick kind of oil. I'll just let that melt. So while that's melting, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about um, why I got into keto. So. Currently, whoa, that's really close, okay. So currently, I'm not really doing strict keto. Um, I just kind of do it to be more low carb just because it kind of makes me feel better. If I find that if I eat so many heavy carbs throughout the day, I get like really tired and just feel like bloated. Um, so I guess it's more just to make me feel good now. Um, before, I actually did keto 
um, more because I was planning on getting pregnant and I, I heard that it really helps balance out your hormones. Um, so I think it just made maybe that part a little easier. And then also I just wanted to lose like a little weight um, before I got pregnant just to be like healthier and really be like as fit as possible. Um, okay, so our oil is melted now. Alright, so bring that a little closer so you can see. So now from here, it's just like you make your typical pancakes. So you're just going to take a little bit of batter and then you put that on the oil. And I'm just going to make little pancakes here, nothing super huge because they do have to kind of fry a little bit. So I'm going to cook them up in the oil. And it just takes like a minute or two, you're going to let it cook on the pan. And then you kind of wait, it's just like your typical pancakes. You wait a, a minute or two until the bubbles start showing up and then you'll flip it over. So we'll just give that a minute to fry. And while that's doing that, I'll just continue what I was saying. So, how did I feel when I was on keto and what kind of um, like results did I get? So, basically I did lose a lot of weight, um, but I think it was also because I was working out a lot. Sorry, the focus. Um, I was working out almost every day. I was doing like hit cardio and weights, like body weight exercises. I was doing a lot just to get myself as fit as possible. Um, I also was a runner before I started doing all this. Um, so I think that helped. Um, but just like the keto diet, aside from losing weight, um, it also just kind of gave me like a mental clarity. Like, you know, sometimes you get that two o'clock tired feeling. I didn't really get that anymore on keto, which was great. I had a lot of energy. Um, I also didn't feel hungry all the time. Um, you know, when sometimes you're mindlessly eating in front of the TV, that feeling went away, like the craving to be mindlessly eating. And it was such a weird thing because it's something that's like a habit. You're just used to mindlessly eating. Okay, so now it's starting to get brown. So it's bubbling, looks a little toasty on the bottom. I'm going to flip it. See, it's look, looking just like a pancake. Just maybe a little more yellow because of the eggs. So we'll just give that like maybe 30 seconds to a minute just to kind of brown on the bottom. I'll get a plate ready. I have this nice little cat plate. Um, I'll tell you a story about this cat plate in a minute once I put the pancake on it. Interesting story. So, all right, so I think we're pretty much good there. So we're gonna put it on the plate. All right, so let me warm up some more oil so I can do the next pancake. Um, I actually have some that's kind of melted already. Just put some of that on the pan. Same thing, just like the other one. We'll do another pancake. Ooh, that one really fried up there. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. So this plate, I actually um, used to be really into, well, not used to, I still am, but just not as often. Um, I used to be into like exploring abandoned places, and this is actually from an old abandoned farm. So it's like an antique china plate. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of cute, so now I actually eat off of it and use it in my kitchen. Alright, so that's frying up there. It's going a lot quicker this time because the pan's already hot and I kind of put more oil in there. So let's give that maybe another 30 seconds or so. Alright. Oops, it's still a little runny. Let's give it a minute. I'm gonna turn the heat down. So would I go back to keto? Um, currently, I'm not going back to keto just because you have to be, I was really, oh, that was bad. But, so basically I was really strict with it. Um, and I tracked everything. I tracked everything I ate, all my macros. 
Um, I used to test my urine uh, just to make sure I was in ketosis because that's kind of important in the beginning if you really want to get into it. Like the first two weeks or so is kind of your detox period. So I was really into staying on top of um, if I was in ketosis or not. Um, so I don't think just like kind of having a child now and working and just having more kind of responsibilities. It's not something that I want to add into my life. It's almost like another stress in a way to be so strict about that. Um, would I like to do it again at some point? Maybe, yeah, just because of like how good I felt when I was on it um, with the energy level, the mental clarity. Um, the only thing that was kind of hard is detoxing off of sugar. Like you're basically, your body's detoxing off of sugar and carbs for like those first two weeks or so, maybe even the first month. Um, and that was kind of hard. So I don't know right now um, if I'd have the, I don't know, patience to be able to do that. But maybe in the future, I don't know, we'll see. I just kind of stick with low carb and try to cut down as much sugar as I can um, just because it makes me feel shitty. So, you know, why, why eat that stuff if you feel bad? All right, so this pancake is probably done. I'm gonna put that on our little plate here. Okay. So I'm gonna cook the rest later, but that's the basic idea. This one's a little more uh, nicer looking than the other one. But basically it comes out like a pancake. So pretty easy to do. Okay, so now I have my finished product. It looks beautiful. I put a little bit of um, Walden Farms pancake syrup on top just because it's a nice sugar-free option and it just adds a little sweetness. Um, and then I put a little bit of blueberries just for some extra flavor. You can use like strawberries or you know whatever kind of fruit you want on top. Um, blueberries just tend to be like lower carb, so if you're sticking with the low carb stuff, it's just a better option. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoy. 